brought Phantom 2s uh, with Zenmuse gimbals, GoPro cameras, and our Lightbridge high definition wireless transmission system here to Iceland uh, to fly as close as we could into the eruption at Holukrun. I arrived in Reykjavik and promptly hopped into a car for another 12 hour drive uh, to the farmhouse where we would be staying for the night. This is a river system here. Yeah, this is a big glacier river. Glacier. Going to Australia. The next morning we woke up and we drove three hours on rough, unpaved roads before we arrived at the eruption site. We weren't allowed to actually drive very close to the volcano, uh, which presented another problem, which was range. So we flew anyway, we put the phantoms in the air, the light bridge worked really well, we had enough video to position the cameras to capture wide-angle views of molten lava erupting from this giant pool inside the caldera's rim. All DJI flight controllers have this feature called Return to Home, which is a fail-safe feature that allows the aircraft to return to landing point if there's anything wrong with the system. I had enough faith in the system to know that after two or three minutes we would see the Phantom flying, flying over us and be able to bring it in safely for landing. During the last flight, I decided I wanted to get a little bit closer to the lava. Suddenly the video feed cut out. I initiated a Return to Home and uh, brought it in for landing, and I noticed that the front of the GoPro was, was completely melted. Apparently, it, it had been so hot that the camera had melted. Luckily, the micro SD card survived. I was able to pull all the footage off of it. The fact that you can take a $1,000 flying camera and put it in the middle of a, an erupting volcano to capture wide-angle views of this giant pool of molten lava which is exploding and throwing lava 150 meters or so into the air is pretty amazing. <laughs> 